Hey YouTube! I am here to discuss a lot of rumors that have been popping up lately. Um, I went on Instagram and I asked all of you guys to submit some questions for me to answer. And we have about 50. So this should be very fun. <clears throat> Hopefully my camera doesn't run dead. It has two little battery bars. Let's get started. I typed out questions that were asked a lot really tough ones, personal ones, funny ones, ones about the kids. First question is, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Just been chilling, laying low lately, taking care of the kids, you know, just being a mom. That's about it. And I've been taking care of Ensley during the day. Who does not go to daycare? Give me this. Okay. Give me this, mommy. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, I'm pausing this video. Tell us some of the steps you were taking to be mentally healthy. So, um, I've been seeing a therapist since November, the beginning of November. So, she's been helping out a lot. Instead of just making decisions very quickly or getting upset or having no one to talk to, I literally reach out to her all the time. Since Ensley's home full time, I can't see her in person a lot. She does live where I'm at. We have video chat sessions a lot, which is very helpful because I stay on top of it every week and I'm always talking to her. Are you going to be back on Team Mom too? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea, so sorry. <laughs> I have nothing to tell you about that. Are you and Nathan back together? No, definitely not. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we've been co-parenting lately and not really get, we were getting along, but now we're not because I guess we're just not on the same level. Um, he wants, he, he likes me a lot and, um, I don't like him like that anymore. So, um, I'm trying to keep things civil and just co-parenting. That's it. Are you back together with David? Hmm, no. <laughs> no, again, I'm just co-parenting. I'm trying to stay out of court, trying to keep things civil between all parties, and I just wanna do my own thing. I mean, I'm single now. I need to venture out. I need to think about my future, my kids, and what I'm gonna do in life. And I don't need any distractions at all. And I noticed that guys can be a big distraction. Shut the door. Yeah. Say hey. Hey. Yeah, look right there. Say hey. Hey. Next question. Don't let me make up my nose. It's on my nose. Well, also my nose. It's on my nose. So are you living separately from David? I don't really care. I just want you happy and on TV. Yes, we are living separately. David lives at the old house in North Carolina and I live in Tennessee. So I live around Nashville, the outskirts of Nashville. Not telling you where because you guys, you know, be little detectives. Um, the next one kind of relates to the one I just answered. It says, are you living with your mom? No, I am not. I know this question has come up many, many times since I've moved away. And no, I don't live with her. She lives back in North Carolina. She's not planning to move to Tennessee. So those are rumors. And I have my own apartment and I still have the old house. So I just stay here in Tennessee for now. I have plans for my future and I, there's more business opportunities here. So that's one of the main reasons why I came here. It wasn't because of another guy. It was to get away, clear my head, and to do more business opportunities. How are you and your mom doing? You know, it's the same way. It's on and off every day. She can have a good day, she can have a bad day. She'll bring up a bad topic that I don't want to talk about and we'll start arguing. So, I mean, it all depends on her mood that day. Were you a medical assistant? Did you like it? So I graduated from Millermont for medical assisting in 2015. I did my externship that I had to do and I did it at an ears, nose and throat doctor. It was really insightful. I got to assist taking skin cancer off of patients. 
So sometimes it'd be on their cheek or their, the tips of their ears or their tips on their nose and it'd always be older people. The gross part, I had to assist while the doctor was cleaning earwax out of old patients' ears and the earwax would be like this big, a huge ball. Oh my God. <laughs> But that was my externship and you know what? It was really fun. I got to work with this nurse that's been a nurse for like 40 years and she worked with a bunch of medical assistants within, you know, that office. So it was really insightful. I loved it. And you know, if I ever went back to a normal job, I definitely would work in, a, you know, an office setting like that. What are your plans for the future? So I'm planning to keep my YouTube channel up and going because I really want to connect with you guys. I want to connect with my fans more. I think it's very important because, you know, obviously I'm not on the show anymore and I just want to keep you guys updated. You guys keep asking and flooding me with questions. So I just want to make sure you guys are on the same page as me. And um, other than that, um, I was thinking, don't know yet, thinking about starting a podcast. Not sure and don't hold me to it, but I'm organizing future plans right now. Everything's kind of up in the air because I just got to figure it out. Plan it, organize it. I didn't fart, those were my, that was my elbows. Oh great, now I can't do it again. Is YouTube with your kids the only way you're gonna make your income now? No, and I just think, like I said, YouTube is a way to keep you guys update, updated with the family, what I'm up to, different projects. Um, it's more like a hobby for me because I wanted to go to school for film editing. It's fun for me to just make videos and edit them. I've been doing it since I've been in third grade. I got my first camera. It was a little Intel Play camera and you hook it up to your computer and it had like an editing software like iMovie, but it was like kid version. So it was really awesome. I got to make movies growing up all the time and I got some of them private on my YouTube that are very embarrassing, but we'll save that for another day. <clears throat> Do you always feel like you have to make a statement if the media says something about you? If it's big news, then yeah, I feel like I have to at least explain myself a little bit because you guys constantly flood me and ask me with the same questions and I don't want to leave you hanging and I want to be truthful and honest with all of you. Where do you think you will be if you never got chosen for the show? I think I would have went to college and went there for something, you know, trying to just stay on the right path, but definitely going to college. Is there a chance you could be coming back to Team Mom or even getting your own show? Right now, like I said, everything's kind of up in the air and I have no idea about Team Mom. I have no idea about my own show, but I know that I've been in talks with certain people here and there. Not saying it's MTV, not saying who it is, but we'll see if something works out in the future. I don't know. Are you single? Yes, I am single as hell. Just focusing on me though, out of all the kids, who gets along the best? Well, I would say Jace and Ensley. They get along very well. Like Jace always helps Ensley with stuff. Ensley always asks Jace for help. And they're so loving, so caring for each other. But then you have Ensley and Kaiser who wrestle, fight, hit each other. They're like a tornado when you get them together. It's crazy. What do you use for your hair? It's so shiny. Thank you. Um, so I wash my hair with, what is it? What is it called? I can't, I don't, don't. Ridicule, don't ridicule me if I can't pronounce this, but I think it's Biolage, B-I-O-L-A-G-E. It's kind of expensive, but I use the cocoa butter one and it makes my hair really smooth. Yes, my hair is natural. No, I don't have extensions, if you're wondering. I know you guys ask that a lot. I know haters say that a lot, but literally, I mean, I have no tape in at all. No sewing, no nothing. So, that's just a rumor, you guys. What would you change about your childhood? You know, there was just a lot of yelling in my childhood and a lot of arguing, a lot of hitting each other. And I just wish my household was calmer growing up because I'm trying to do that with my kids as well. And it just shows the type of person I grew into by the time I was a teenager and it seems like I was just a very angry person. Do I want more children in the future? I actually have my tubes tied, so 
probably not um you know i don't i don't want any kids in the future but you know 10 years from now or no not 10 years from now what am i talking about um three or four years from now if i want to have a child i don't know maybe maybe not ask me again <laughs> in the future can you find the real janelle the caring smart funny girl that we all saw eight years ago yes you can see her but she's very scared to talk to any of you <laughs> um every time i post something in the past you know i didn't care what you guys thought i did what i wanted to but that also got me in a lot of trouble and a lot of bad situations so i've realized not to post as much don't post where you're at don't post too much of your house when i come to post online or show the true side of myself i'm scared and i'm paranoid and i think that i've got like anti-social because of it and because of the show and being noticed so much everywhere so i've had to come to terms with fuck it just be yourself and now i want to be myself and show you guys again and um i just can't be scared to upload you know these youtubers upload whatever they want to and they do not care and me on the other hand are like i can't should i upload that can i upload that i don't know Sh she's coming the, the old Janelle's coming back, promise. What is the best advice for dealing with stress when dealing with the not good men? So I would say my best advice is what I just did. I mean, I got away to clear my head. And I mean, necessarily, if you just wanna clear your head and just stay single and not date, you can do that. And that's what I'm doing right now. And you don't have to immediately go out and get in a relationship. You need time to heal. I think a therapist is very helpful as well as getting away from the situation and seeing from outside the box what you were dealing with and how to cope with it. What is the hardest part about being a single mother? So I would say, you know, when you're married and when you have a husband and you guys do everything together and you guys co-parent very well and you have a second, two, hand, two extra hands there all the time, it's very helpful. But then when you have that taken away and everything's on you, it gets very hard. Um, I've been having a tough time. Like sometimes we'll go out, I'll take him to the trampoline park. And then when it's time to leave, they don't want to leave. Ensley and Kaiser both throw tantrums on the ground, start yelling, kicking and screaming. I'm literally holding them up, huddling them like this to the car while everyone's staring at me. And I'm like, oh great, they probably know who I am too. So, I mean, it's been very hard, very stressful, but you've got to bite your tongue and you just got to have patience. Um, if you don't have patience, you have nothing. Is Ensley in any type of school at the moment? No. She, um, she's gonna be three this Friday and um, she's not old enough to go to school yet, but I was thinking about signing her up for possibly gymnastics class because she stays in the house too much and she needs something to do to get her energy out how do you stay thin i am not thin <laughs> and i love to eat and especially at nighttime i like to eat <laughs> and i like to watch netflix and eat snacks and then go to bed so it's a bad habit what i usually do i have healthy snacks like i've been eating hummus lately that's been great and celery with peanut butter or car baby carrots without ranch <laughs> I think going to the gym helps a lot with me at least it helps my mental state of mind do i like to fish i love fishing i love deep sea fishing <laughs> i went to st thomas and we went deep sea fishing and that shit was so much fun every time he's like every time when your little piece of when your hook hits the bottom of the ocean you have to immediately pull it up because if you don't they'll take your bait i'm like that quick he's like yeah that quick well, I kept it down there for like two seconds and picked it up and my bait was gone. I was like, dude, there's that many fish down there? He's like, yeah, and they're following us. So I highly suggest go deep sea fishing. If you ever go to the Bahamas, tropics, do it. Do you still talk to Tori? Yes, <laughs> me and Tori talk um, just about every day. And um, she's gonna be coming to visit me soon in February. So looking forward to it. <laughs> gonna be crazy. <laughs> Are you ever gonna change your hair color? Um, not for now. This is my natural hair color, it's really dark, but I don't know, I just don't wanna damage it. Every time I want to dye it, then I don't wanna damage it. Will you ever come out with your own show? I miss seeing you on TV, you're so real. Thank you. 
Um, again, I don't know about my own show. Maybe one day in the future. We'll see. Do you have any career ideas? Miss hearing from you. Um, I was thinking about doing another book. I also talked about the podcast with you guys. Uh, I'm going to keep it on the down. Not a question, but come holiday in Australia with the kids. I would love to. That would be so much fun. Are you going to stream any more games? Yes. Um, I have to set it up again because now I'm at my new place. I have my Xbox, I have my PlayStation. I have to set up my camera, my tripod, figure out where I'm do what room I'm doing it in, what time I can do it at because I have the kids. The kids are a major issue when it comes to me and wanting to film stuff or do stuff for you guys. Um, you know, I have Ensley during the day so she can't disturb me if I'm trying to film. Then Kaiser, he's in school all day, then I have to go pick him up, and then by the end of the day I'm cooking dinner, get in the bed, and I'm exhausted. Bear with me, okay? Bear with me. Are you still in communication with MTV? Again, um, I don't really talk to them. We talk here and there, but we don't talk much. What's up with the picture of you and David in Nashville? Um, the one that was posted to TMZ. I was in downtown Nashville taking pictures of my photographer and David was in town for the court date. So then he asked to see Ensley and while I was taking pictures, I had him see Ensley. We had lunch and then he went home. That's it. Are you still separated from David? Yes, I live in Nashville. He lives in North Carolina. You see how much, how often the same questions come up with you guys and I didn't even catch it? <laughs> Heard you didn't actually file for divorce, just curious. Love you and your kids. Thank you. In the state of North Carolina, you first have to be separated for a complete year to even file for divorce. In the state of Tennessee, you have to live there for six months to be a resident, and you also have to be separated for six months in order to file divorce. So that's why I haven't filed yet. Are you pregnant again? No, I just got some pudge. <laughs> Who's your new boyfriend? Nobody, trust me. That Boston thing was nothing. <laughs> I might explain it to you guys later, but not right now, I'm trying to, you know, cover people's privacy. What's something you love about each of your kids? So we'll start out with Jace. Jace, he is so smart in school. He knows Latin, he gets straight A's, he's eager to go, he loves the projects they give him, he loves hearing about Egyptian history and everything. So he's so smart and I'm so glad. Um, Kaiser? Kaiser is super funny. Super, super funny. He can make anyone laugh, whether you're an adult or a kid. He's just the clown of the family. <laughs> and then you got Ensley, who's super, super sweet, super caring. Super caring about animals, dogs, um, super caring about her brothers. You have a new show? No, sorry. Are you and Nathan getting along? Um, here and there. He has some issues of his own he needs to sort out. You're in another state with no family around. Who watches those kids when you go to the gym? So, the gym I go to, they have daycare. Haha. -ha. So, they have daycare in the morning, certain amount of hours in the afternoon, and I can go to the gym and I can also tan after I'm done working out. And I pick up the kids and we go home. Where did you get your chore chart? <laughs> Amazon. Now, Kaiser's, I'm gonna be honest, Kaiser's behavior hasn't been great lately at school. It never really is <laughs> with him, but um, we've been, me and his teacher have been thinking about ways to make that better, so. We thought about a chore chart and I know Kaiser loves money. He like collects pennies, quarters, dimes, everywhere. <laughs> what brands of makeup do you use? Uh, makeup Forever for concealer, JE Cosmetics eyebrow kit for my eyebrows, um, tons of different lip stuff, but I have so much lipstick, you guys, I don't even use it. And right now I'm not even wearing lipstick, but I'm wearing everything else. Um, Too Faced bronzer, Becca highlighter, Pure Cosmetics highlighter, and Huda Beauty eyeliner duo. It's wet eyeliner and a pencil on each side. You can use the wet end or the dry end. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you were you all were thinking it. 
<laughs> Why are you wearing your engagement ring again? I'm not. <laughs> so about that, I was cleaning out my car and of course I'm like, all right, this is gonna get lost if I don't take it inside the house. So I put it on my finger real quick. Then I picked up Kaiser from uh, from the bus stop and when I did, I took a selfie and then you guys saw it and you guys freaked out, but no. I'm not wearing that. I just took it inside so I can put it away and it'd be safe. What is the best way to keep a toddler entertained? So I would say um, I look on Pinterest a lot for stuff for Ensley to do, like arts and crafts during the day. And um, we go to the trampoline park when Kaiser's with us to burn out energy. Um, playgrounds are great. Um, I like now I'm trying to teach the kids like sports. How are you working on overcoming childhood trauma and breaking patterns slash cycles? So, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but you guys are probably wondering, where's Janelle's dad at? Well, my dad and my mom, they split up when I was very little. I did visitation with him up to the age of 12, and then it all stopped when we moved to North Carolina. He has an alcohol problem, and that affected my family when we were little, and I'm just making sure history doesn't repeat itself and just trying to stay away from negative energy, laying low, staying out of trouble. I talk to my therapist a lot about my childhood and traumas that I've been through when I was little and when I was older and that really helps overcoming it. And definitely talking about it whenever it's on your mind. Even if it's on your mind, you have a therapist and you're like, well, my therapy session isn't coming up till next week just text your therapist and be like, can I talk real quick? And I'm sure they'll be glad to talk to you. <laughs> Trust me. What happened with you and her? <laughs> uh, um, so I went up there and I stayed for a few days and I came back home. <laughs> I really can't say much, you guys. I really want to tell you more, but certain people will be mad at me. So you gotta be quiet. I'm just trying to be nice, trying to keep things civil. Will you be doing any reality TV soon? Really enjoying watching you. Yes, I want to, but keep an eye on my YouTube channel and I promise I'll keep this updated and let you guys know if anything's popping up soon. Is your ass real? Yes, it is. I promise you. I don't have ass injections. I don't have ass implants. Um, I literally just had a big ass since I was little, so. Will you be writing another book? P.S. I loved how you wrote the last one, diary style. Yes, I'm thinking about writing another book. Um, I can do it any day now. I just have to come up with one solid idea. I have way too many ideas for books and I just need to pick one. <laughs> so it'll be coming soon. Why YouTube? Will you post to Instagram? Um, why YouTube? Because YouTube is, has always been a good platform for me, for me and my fans to connect with you guys. Um, you can post longer videos on YouTube. Um, and I want more dedicated YouTube users and I want to be loyal to you guys. So YouTube it is. <laughs> How do you balance three kids? When do you get me time? So I get me time at the end of the night. And once Kaiser gets home from school, we get dinner made, they eat, they go to bed, then I get me time. Other than that, I have no family here, I have no help, so I feel your pain, single moms, I feel your pain. <laughs> My me time, what do I do? I literally, if you know me well enough, I go and take a bath <laughs> and I chill, scroll my phone, look at recent updates or anything, and then I watch Netflix and fall asleep. <laughs> Then get up the next morning, get Kai's ready for school, ba 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 ba. Same thing all over again. There's my QA for you guys, and I really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope to post more personal videos like this. Leave a comment below what you guys would like to see next. Like and subscribe, and I'll be back soon. Bye, you guys.